guys. Uh, just want to do a quick little, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a tutorial as much as it is just my theory and approach to doing this scene. Uh, mainly it's going to be going over the my node compositing setup and uh, just my idea behind uh, everything I did in here. Uh, so yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, one of the things I did to, to ease my render times was to render things separately. Um, uh, such as in here, I have simply just the speeder rendered with a blank alpha channel. And uh, yeah, I did that for... I did that for my birds, I did that for my atmosphere pass, which, which was uh, my mist pass. And even to speed that up, what I did is initially I did one, uh, one frame rendered with uh, all this background, not the birds, not the vehicle, and not the traffic, which you can't see much of the traffic anyways. But I just, everything but the animated portions were rendered one frame and then then I rendered this uh, a sequence of the, uh, the animated parts, and then I took everything and I composited, composited it together to, to, create, uh, to create my atmosphere pass. I mean, it's, it's not perfect because you do get a little, a little bit of, uh, of blending. Uh, uh, we'll go forward here. You can see right here because I did all I did is uh, I took and I multiplied. Uh, I used a color mix node set to multiply to add the animated animated sequence to this still se image that I had, and uh, as a result, I get a little bit of bleed over here. But uh, I, it was for this shot, and uh, since it's only going to be on YouTube, it was. Uh, is more than sufficient so uh yeah that was my approach for that uh to get passes such as that um to get a blank if you're not not sure how to to render uh just a blank background because usually you get your default background and you can change your your uh your sky values and such and uh still uh to get it blank uh first you need the rgba and then under shading under regular blender internal render you're going to change the alpha to transparent so then when we render then we have a blank alpha channel uh in cycles a bit similar but uh a little bit different. Um, what we're going to do is under under film, we select transparent, and under OpenGL render, we also want to make sure this is set to transparent, and then we render that out we get our, our cube, which is now blue because we set our sky to blue and that's the only, it's the main light source because that point light isn't sufficient in that scene, but. So anyways, that's how you do that. Uh, but like I said, this is mainly my approach to the compositing. So uh, we're gonna switch to our compositor here. Use nodes and we're gonna go ahead and uh, use a backdrop for now. And we don't need render layers. I'm gonna hit shift spacebar to maximize this. Zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna grab my files. And first I wanna start up. Uh, I didn't render a sequence for the grass because that would have taken forever. So instead I just rendered one image uh, 
of each of my grass planes and I mapped it over a map painting that I have. And instead of doing multiple layers of the city inside here, I just created a mask using some of the buildings that I wanted the traffic to be between. So these foreground buildings here, uh, I, I used to create a mask so the traffic would be moving behind those and blending into the scene. So uh, we'll start with these ones. We are going to need, of course, alpha overs. We're going to need also mixes. Uh, filter running blurs. And offhand, I'm going to need uh, curves. So we'll start here with the, these two grass uh, images. And these are single images, it's not a sequence. Uh, so I grab my alpha over, I think this one goes, this one goes here. And check convert pre-multiply. Now if I hit control shift and left click, it'll bring up a viewer node for me. And so uh, I'll hit V to, uh, to zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on. So now we have, of course we have this foreground grass and then we have this grass here and we combine those together. What I also want to do is uh, I'm going to duplicate this blur node because I'm going to use a lot of blur. Ultimately, I want to blur out this foreground grass here uh, just because it's so crisp. This is a cycles render and uh, I don't want your attention attracted to this foreground grass. I, I would rather people just kind of look past it and uh, I didn't use depth of field when I rendered it initially because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to handle the depth of field so I'm going to fake it here just by Adding just a little bit of blur. I'm going to turn that up to three. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's all right. So these are my grass ones. Just to clear up my space, I'll minimize those. Bring this over here. And uh, go ahead and duplicate this. I'm going to be using quite a few of these. Bring this in here, and we grab our image here. This is a map painting I created in Photoshop. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, I got really horrible grass in the foreground, and so I'm wanting to replace that with, uh, with the blender grass. So this needs to be reversed. So now we have the blender grass in the foreground and it just kind of, you know, blends on in with the, the painted, painted scene. And uh, I wanted this curves editor so I can uh, need to darken the foreground gra grass just a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab it here a little. I'll move it up here. I, I also have a shadow layer, so I don't want to go too dark initially. Uh, this up a little higher. Yeah. We'll start there. We'll make adjustments later if necessary. Uh, so now we have the main part of our image. Now we want to bring in, I, I have some smoke that is animated to come out of these smokestacks here. And also have some traffic for the, uh, to, it's just kind of flying through the city. And uh, I don't want them over the top of everything else. So I created this mask from the city. 
and just to make sure that everything lines up on this, I'm going to add another color mix node. And I set it to multiply. I'm going to bring it in here. I think these are backwards. Oh, had it right the other way. So now we're going to zoom in. I'm going to hit the Alt key and hit V again. I just want to make sure that these edges are all lined up nicely. And uh, let's turn this down. It looks like, yeah, it looks like everything's nice. There's no bleed over because I don't want, I don't want to see sky through the, uh, through the other textures that I put in here. Uh, so I can get rid of this now. Uh, control X, I'll delete it. Now I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and grab, let's go back to my file folders. And I want my traffic here. I'm just going to grab this first image, drag it in. And this is an image sequence because it's animated and the frames are 240. I'm just going to say 250, and I don't need to offset it or anything. And so I need another alpha over node. Let's duplicate this one. Uh, put it here, because we're coming from this node into here. And we come in here. And that's wrong, because we don't see the traffic. Where's it? Let's, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, we don't see the traffic because I'm not going to plug the viewer into that node. Good job. And what we see here now is the traffic is all in front of those buildings. So now we're going to apply this, this image as our layer mask. Let's clean this up a little bit. And pull right out of here and we're going to plug it into the factor. And then instantly, you'll see the vehicles are now passing behind the, the building. If I hold down Alt and use the scroll wheel on my mouse, I can cycle the animation a little bit. And so, yeah, we have traffic in front of these buildings, but going behind everywhere else. So that's good. Now we want to add our smoke. For that, we're going to use a similar setup. I'll go ahead and duplicate this. Uh, Shift D, duplicate. And uh, collapse some of these, clean it up. So, grab that. Now we'll go to my files again. And here I have my Steam. Initially I was going to do Steam, but when I tried to add it, it just completely disappeared. So instead it's going to be smoke. It's a, it's a not necessarily green future. It's a little bit polluted. So uh, once again, this is an image sequence. This sequence is actually 500 frames long. And we're going to start it at frame, we'll say 300. That way we got yeah, a nice billow of smoke here. We are going to use Plug that in here, and we're going to plug this in here. And 
and do a multiply and whoa, what happened? <laughs> we got to reverse this. We're going to add shift A for add and color, invert, and stick that in right there. And immediately we can't see anything. That's because our image is massive. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and scale that. Uh, Shift A for add, distort, scale. I'll just plug that in there. Let's go half the size on both of these. And let's make it a little bit darker. So we have invert, uh, shift A, add, we're gonna color RGB curves. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna plug it in there. And we're just gonna pull this down and darken up the smoke a little bit. We don't want hard edges. Just nice soft edges, but like a darker, a few darker tones, and then we can adjust it by a, well, well, we'll adjust it here, I guess. All right. So then we'll plug this into here. Let's see how that is. is absolutely not in the right spot, but that's okay. So what is what is going on with this? This we're missing a good deal of our image here. There's our image. It's, uh, it must be because this is plugged in backwards. Hey, there we go. Uh, now we need to move the smoke because we don't want to come from the trees. We've got to move it all the way up over here. So uh, we need another distortion. We're going to go Shift A, Distort, and Translate. So we're going to move this thing. Let's go ahead and uh, close these up. Actually, I might turn this down to 0.4. Yeah, I think that'll that'll blend a little nicer. So that's good. Just clean this up a little bit. So we need to move this really far. Just drag it across here. The reason I didn't just create a small particle system that would just be here is because I really wanted a lot more detail to play with in here. So uh, I just recorded it. I just uh, rendered it very large. And uh, my thought was by rendering it large, when I scaled it down, I'd have even more detail. I'm going down now. Let's go up. Just about there. Too far. And actually, move it forward just a bit. Move it down just a little bit. I think, let's see what happens when we advance it a little bit. 
Yeah, I like that. So now we're going to use this same image for our, let's grab this. We'll grab this. Uh, for our factor. So then it'll mask out the smoke that's in front of the building right there. And it cleans it up just like that. But now I think what we have going on is what I was trying to avoid. Uh, yeah, there's just a little layer of, of sky there. So let's, uh, let's go in here and it's, let's add another translate node to here. And we want to move it down on the y-axis just a little bit. Oh, just about there. Maybe over on the x. So now, uh, less on the y. No. Now it's not showing any sky through the where the smoke's coming out are supposed to be coming out of the smokestacks. So that's taken care of. Now we'll go ahead and I'll, we'll add our birds that are coming out of here. Let's uh, scale out a little bit. And let's go ahead and close this all this down. No trees are always so incredibly difficult to keep clean. It's, and then after a while, they get so big and chaotic. It's like, what? All right. So with this one, we want another alpha over node. We're going to bring it in here. And let's grab our bird file. I'm going to go in here. Birds, grab our first image. Go ahead. Once again, image sequence, 250 frames. And we don't need an offset for this one. I'll bring it in here. And uh, it's, uh, the birds don't come in until about here. So yeah, everything's set right. So there's our birds. And uh, so we can back it up a little bit. They just go flying out of that tree. Just trying to create motion to this scene to try and sell it a little bit. I go and put this here. All right. I think we're ready for the vehicle now. Let's grab here. Let's grab our speeder. Drag them in here. And copy that for the next few. Once again, alpha over. Shift D. Bring this in here. And there he is. Convert pre multiplied. And that's good. Now, for the speeder, I did a separate pass that is just the emission. Uh, before I do the emitter pass, I want to do the shadow pass and darken the scene just a little bit. So, we are going to need another multiply node. So we're going to copy the color mix and bring it down here. Set this to multiply. And that's not what I want to do. Here's my shadow pass. I 
you'll notice in here there's not a whole lot of detail. And I did that intentionally. I did like 40 passes and cycles on this um, just because I'm going to blur it out anyways to create soft shadows. So saved a lot on render times. But this the shadow pass was probably the most labor intensive of as far as like on system resources and rendering. I, I set this up at nine o'clock one evening and it wasn't done until like 10 a.m. the next morning. So yeah, 13 hours of rendering just for this shadow pass. It was Go ahead and plug it in here. Image sequence, control V to paste my 250 in there. Uh, like I said, I want to blur it a little bit. I don't want these hard edges. So, uh, yeah, let's duplicate this. I'll bring it down here and change this to fast Gaussian. Uh, just bump up a couple. Only three, Let's see how that is. About the same thing we did on our grass there. Yeah, just to soften that up a little bit and we're gonna turn this way down. Maybe not that far down though. Yeah, I think I kinda like that. All right, well, we're gonna leave it for now. Let's grab this. We'll just leave it open. We might make adjustments to it, but we can collapse this. Grab this. I'll go ahead and open this up too. Not that. This. Grab. That way I can, uh, I know which ones I want to potentially tweak. Uh, now let's set up our emission pass, uh, our uh, emitter pass. Uh, for this, we're going to need uh, another color mix node set to add. Shift A. Not ah, Shift D. We'll duplicate this thing. Let's throw it down here. We're going to set it to add. And let's grab this here. We'll actually duplicate this a couple times. And uh, I'll go ahead and duplicate our blur. Now let's grab our emission, our emitter pass. Emission. It's hard to, sounds weird to say. All right. Image sequence. We'll just control V to paste in the 250 frames that we need. And uh, come on now, plug that in here, grab this. So this is what we've got going on. It's just the, the lights from the vehicle. I'm gonna, we'll crank this up to like six. And uh, go ahead and duplicate this blur node again. Grab this and plug it in there. And we'll turn this up to, let's try 15. And we'll plug it into the bottom here. So that's, that's looking pretty good. And turn it down just a little bit. It's kind of subtle. that. Now we need to add a filter. We want a glare node. We'll bring this down here. And now we're going to try and create a, a glare that'll make J.J. Ab Abrams proud. Uh, we we'll turn down the streaks to two. Uh, we want high quality. Go ahead and turn up five iterations. Color modulation, set it right there. 
and let's drag this up to 0.98. And we're going to pull the threshold down until we start seeing some change here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like that. So we'll go ahead and grab this, bring it over, and plug this in. And let's turn this down just a little bit. Yeah, I think I like that. Uh, I want to get a little bit more color in here. I mean, this is. I want a little bit more blue, so I'm going to add Shift A for Add. I'm going to color. Let's do a let's do a RGB curves. We'll go ahead. I'll pull up the blue just a little bit. I'll pull down the red just a little bit. What's that? Oh, yeah, it's pretty. So now let's go ahead and plug this into here and see what we have going on. I like that. I don't think I want it set to one though. I'll turn it down a little bit. Okay, just playing around with the settings. Uh, pull this down a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna call that good for now. So now what else do we need? We got our shadow, we have our glare. Uh, the next thing we want to add, we'll go ahead and duplicate this. Go ahead and we'll grab our blur node here. Duplicate that. Let's grab, I did a light pass just because uh, down here I have these glowing lights. So I did a light pass to create some glow across the, the grass plains here. And this let me close that out. All right, pick two orders. So I have my light pass here. And this, yeah, this is just a, well, it's just like it says, it's a light pass. So, all right, I'll bring this in here. Grab this. What am I doing? Cancel. Image sequence. Control U. Let's change this to fast Gaussian. Uh, let's turn it up like five. See what that gives us. That is way too much light. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it down to two point two. Let's, let's pull it back a little bit. Actually, let's pull it forward. Let's put them right about there. Trying to find where he crosses that next hill. Yeah, I think that's still a little bit too bright. So, turn it down to one. I just kind of want a, kind of a subtle hint of it. Let's go point 
zero six on that. So that's that. So we've got most of our scene now. Let's, uh, what do we have left to add here? Did I close that out again? I don't know. So we have light, light pass, our traffic, our steam, our, our emitter pass, our birds, atmosphere. That's all we have left. So let's go ahead and grab this. Don't close that. Once again, image sequence, paste in the 250. Oh, I just copied that, never mind. So now let's, uh, let's duplicate this. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to, uh, let's try point one. I grab this, pull it in here. And it's just gonna give us a little bit of haze, but that's actually quite a bit of haze. Let's, let's back out a little bit so we can get a little bit of perspective. It's a little more haze than I want, let's go half that, 0 0.05. Uh, I'm gonna leave that for now. And I'm gonna go ahead. So we are gonna darken things with We're gonna add a vignette around here and then also do a little bit of color grading in here. So uh, I think I want a still image to pull from, but uh, so we're gonna add, anyways, I'm gonna add a distortion. I need a lens distortion, put it right there. Uh, Shift A again to add a converter. We want a math node. And we're gonna set this to greater than. And we'll go ahead and grab this. I don't think I need it anymore up there. Also won't need an alpha over node. And I won't need this guy either but I do need an image source and I don't want, uh, let's just grab our main image. Uh, let's just duplicate that. So I'd rather not use an animated sequence for, I guess I could have used any of these set to a single image, but you know, I'll go ahead and plug it in here. So we're back there, I'm gonna distort it that way. Plug it in here. So we turned up the distortion. The dispersion is still st set to zero. Uh, our math node is set to greater than our value. Let's set it to zero. And so this will invert all that. We'll feed this, oh, I should have, I, I did need the, uh, I'll duplicate this. Shift D. This is going to be multiply. So this is going to come in here. Take this. We're going to come out of the blur node into here. And first, we're going to turn this up to, let's try 180. 
Go ahead and copy that and paste it here. Turn this to fast Gaussian. So it's way lighter than I want. Let's go 0.2 on this. A little darker. See, I, I like this haze in here. I want to sharpen it just a little bit. I don't want to do it by turning down this node, though. So I think uh, things are going to lighten up a little bit. Let's go ahead and I do need one more of these. I'll grab this and I bring this over here. Let's uh, add a color, cor uh, not correction. Uh, shift a color, color balance is what I want. On the scene, I want it to be a little bit, a little bit cool, cooler. You know, I have warm colors. Just want to cool it down a little bit by putting in a little blue in the. Yeah, in the lower levels. So, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Now, for this, I want to uh, add in a little bit more of this, this solar flare that I, this uh, lens flare that I have going on here. And for that, I created an image. It's just a, yeah, a lens flare on a black background. So uh, I'm just going to drag this in here. Add it here. I want to be careful of yeah, is we're going to get really bleached out there. Let's go point, point 0.5, and I'll tone that down just a little bit. Yeah, but I like I like the way that looks right there. And I think that's about going to do it here. I mean, I can tweak things a little bit here and there to improve this a little bit more. But yeah, that was my approach to this whole shot. And uh, oh, I don't know if you've learned anything. Hopefully you have. And yeah, it was just, yeah, some thoughts I had that I wanted to explore on approaching a shot like this. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.